and here we are look at that tiny better that's that's the profit yep it may start to rise hi guys i'm glad to see you back and i'm happy and i'm even happier if you are a newcomer i'm just welcoming you too and i'm gonna explain today as much as i can the strategy that we're gonna use and i want to tell you again and again if there is something wrong about this strategy give me that comment sometimes i know that the strategy is bad but i am just trying to show you all the possibilities all the abilities all these things and stuff that we can actually get out of this strategy in these binary options let's see it so guys, we gotta start. I just hope that my bracelets and watches not gonna be too noisy because I'm already right here with that and I'm gonna take it away. So the first indicator is gonna be the moving average. Uh, lots of comments why I never lose. It's actually because I prepare a lot. And lots of comments about the live trading too. And I do think maybe you need this, you know, last educational, less perfect less profitable just to see all i don't know disadvantages all things that i'm also actually tempting but i just tried and then my first you know here here's actually on this channel it's like a year when i started ago my channel but my idea actually was just to make it as more informative as more educational so i actually didn't need such a loses or some, you know, inconvenience, just because I wanted to be, you know, to show how it could be profitable if you are actually preparing a lot, if you know a lot. But out of all these comments, I do think that actually maybe you need more life, more life in it. So here's the strategy for today. While I've been just talking, I've been using all the currency pairs, Beerus Power and Moving Average, and this is it. And this is the first, first bet that we're gonna make. Even without any indicator, we gotta see that we are just falling. Here's the tendency that we're gonna get down. And look at the moving average, look at the beer's power. Yep, we are just at the falling, falling, falling down position. Let's check it out. So just actually wanted to add in the beginning that Beerus Power a little bit in a tricky position because there are the chances that it may rise because it was falling and actually we have no glue and have no signs that it's going to be the drastic, drastic fall. But even being honest here, I just got a little bit lucky because yep, we are falling, but not that drastically. And here's just a tiny period where we were just in some doubt. And look at the Beerus Power, it is a little bit flat. But anyway, that was enough just for us to have it as a profit. Um, we are here, we're gonna raise what we're gonna bet. And here we are, look at that. I would say here is no explanation needed because I do think it's gonna be just the rise in. But the tricky stuff right here that the Beerus Power actually was a little bit showing us that we are at the peak. But I do think that we still have, you know, the opportunity, the space to grow because actually we just a little bit, just a tiny bit upper at zero. So, and zero for us, this is like, you know, like the middle, some middle level in that case. Let's check it out just how it's gonna be in the end. And just as I told you, there was a little bit, a little bit, no, not that. I don't need that. Let's leave it. Let's take three more seconds just to be right here and not gonna get any. Yep, it is. It is just worked out. And look at that. Look what actually happened to the beer's power. Yep, we were not at the peak at that time. You've been rising, but look at that. Look at that indicator, actually, how it's not perfectly repeating the chart. And this is the main thing about that indicator. Do not expect that chart gonna be the same as this line of it. So we are here a little bit flat, I would say, but I do think the tendency is just to rise look at the moving average yep it's just repeating all the candles that we are having look at the beer's power yep here is just like the tendency we're gonna get down with but i do think it's gonna be the fluctuation so we may get a little bit downward just in the beginning but then we're gonna rise just because all this chart that is actually happening giving me 
all that info. But that situation, I would say, especially look at the levels, look at the estimated, we are just close to the zero. So we are just in the middle and we can actually be a little bit lower, a little bit upper than this middle because the middle actually is a trick. I would add here some MACD maybe or stochastic oscillator because with this strategy is going to get us more informative. It's going to get us more info about the huge strategy because moving average and the beer's power in that case a little bit too, you know, too precise about the candles and the beer's power kind of better. That's, that's the profit. But look at that. Look at what actually happening and all these profits. In that case, it's actually a little bit like luck because we are right on time with the right expectation. But even five seconds ago, it could be the, you know, the opposite expectation and the right time for that. Um, here, if you are, if you've been trading even a little bit, you would see that we are just getting downward. Yep, this is just the beginning of the trend. Maybe it's not gonna get, you know, to that lowest level that it was before. Uh, I mean, like the bottom. But I do think that the chart was rising and that was, you know, like artificial or something like that. And we gotta expect that we're gonna get downward after. So just as I told you, I don't think we have quite enough time in for that. Yep, it may start to rise. Look at the beer's power, but actually it's going to be just enough. There's, oh, I don't know, was something. Yeah, there was something like a, a seconds of not working perfectly. But anyway, for us, that's enough already. So here, um... If you are actually, I got some comments that I'm out of the strategy, that I don't explain too much the entry points. If I'm being honest, um, some strategies like this one are not the perfect one. There's actually not so many info that I can tell you about that. I use my intuition, I use my knowledge, I use my feelings, I don't know, anything. But in some cases, just the strategy is not you know, exactly perfect. It's not exactly working. And why would I lie, you know, just to invent some signs or anything like that? But you check the strategy. And out of my explanations, out of your side, out of your feelings, you may see that this strategy is not perfect. You may add some indicator. And usually if you check it, I tell you that this strategy is not enough. You may add something, you may try it and use it and stuff like that. And this strategy is too... I told you, like, moving average is good one, but it's kind of um, bad one, you know, to, like, a big, big predictions, big strategies, just checking all the results that we are having, and we have it as a profit, just because it's quite visible out of the chart. And I've been actually ignoring this time all this situations, except only one where it was, like, you know, flat with the candles, but actually were a little bit more tricky than this strategy could actually help us handle. So if you see that the strategy is bad explained, you may know that actually the strategy means the strategy is a little bit bad. It's a little bit not enough, not sufficient. And we're just done. Just as I told you, be aware of the strategies. Do not think, do not treat all strategies as the perfect one. Do not think that all indicators are going to be working just for you or in combinations or just in solo, just because this is, you know, this is the program and this is the market. And you actually need to find your favorites. You need to find your methods, your ways, setting your tools and that actually what takes time not to learn by heart all the strategies and all the signs not to see all the lines and know all of that no just to feel it just to see it and that's the beauty of it